What's up guys, Armchair Tuna back again with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to show you all this generalist build that I made. Now, what this generalist build is, is pretty much you're able to use this anywhere, no matter what you're fighting, uh, like no matter what you're doing, you're able to use this build anywhere, and what I have for the armor of this build is the fiery armor. If you've seen my uh, video on the fire rate armor, you know that the corrosion effect is super strong, which and no enemies are weak nor resistant to it, making this armor set a top tier armor set for pretty much any enemy in the game. You can get it really early on the uh, as soon as you unlock the upper yard. It's not that hard to get. You just need to go to the fire ant hill and get a few fire ants. They're not that hard in my opinion. And for our weapon of the build, it is going to be a antline greatsword. Now, you can change the element of it depending on what you're fighting. But anyways, for the trinket, once again, force pendant. I know we've been using force pendant a lot, but once again, it's just a really solid trinket. 10% stat increase for pretty much everything is really solid. I highly recommend using it. It's probably one of the easiest trinkets you can get in the entire game. All you gotta do is just build up to the upper yard and parkour your way through the fallen uh, stump in the upper yard to get this. It's not hard for probably the best trinket in the entire game. And the Antline Greatsword, while it's not the best tier 3 weapon, I will say this about it. For this generalist build... I would recommend starting out with the Antline Greatsword, and you are going to see in this uh, footage later what weapon I'm going to replace it with. But anyways, for perks, uh, Blade Master, just so you can take less damage from enemies upon hitting them with the Antline Greatsword. And also with the Mastery Bonus being a your temporarily removes your Exhaustion Timer. Really solid perk. All you can do is just farm a bunch of insects with the Antline Greatsword early on to get this perk. By far one of the best perks in the game. Parry Master, just so you can get stamina when perfect blocking. Really solid perk. If you're not good at perfect blocking, another perk I would uh, recommend is Spicy Safety once you get it. Uh, it gives you smashing and stabbing resistance, so if you're not good at perfect blocking... Really good altern uh, alternative perk, but Parry Master for me is the way to go. Once again, Spicy Safety is a good alternative. And for the next perk, it is going to be Meat Shield. Meat Shield, really solid perk. You can just get more health, especially with it, this being medium armor. Coup de Garage is for more damage. You get that extra critical hit chance. You can get this early on. And Cardio Fan. Just so you pretty much don't have to worry about stamina any time of when you're fighting or doing anything. But one thing I will say, the Antline Greatsword, uh, since it is a slashing weapon, most of the enemies are going to be resistant to it. The, yep, the Mantis is resistant to it, as well as most of the other bosses, such as the uh, Wasp Queen. As you see, she's also resistant to slashing. The Infected Broodmother's not. I didn't uh, peep any of the story bosses yet, but I'm pretty sure the director's assistant and also the assistant manager. The Mosquitoes are, the Wasp are, the Black Widow, and all of those, and the Antlion, although it is not resistant to slashing, but a majority of enemies are going to be uh, resistant to it, which is why I would recommend after... Uh, this first fight I'm going to do, replace this weapon with a much better weapon after you kill this enemy. And what this enemy is going to be is none other than the Broodmother. The Broodmother's weapon is probably one of the best in the game. And I recommend getting it right after you get the Antline Greatsword. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking and enjoy the fight.
And that was the first fight with this build. Now, I am a little rusty, I'll give it that. I've been kind of laying off grounded recently. But, honestly, this build did pretty good against the Broodmother. And now, for I'm going to use this build with the Club of the Mother Demon as the replacement weapon to the Antlion Greatsword. And... The Club of the Mother Demon has to be by far one of the best weapons in the entire game. The fact that uh, you get it from a boss that's already probably one of the more easier sides of things definitely makes it a top contender. But for perks, I would replace Blade Master with Buff Lungs. But uh, once you do kill the Matis and get, unlock this perk, it is definitely a go-to replacement for buff lungs as for me buff lungs it's an all right perk but apex predator definitely rules over it but i'm gonna stop talking now and here's the last fight for today's video And with that, that is the last fight of today's video. Now, another thing I forgot to mention with the Club of the Mother Demon is that you can also uh, choose the element towards it. I forgot to mention that, but once again, after you defeat the Mantis, I highly recommend equipping Apex Predator as the poison damage the Club of the Mother Demon deals to enemies is absolutely amazing but anyways if you guys like this video and enjoyed it please make sure to like and subscribe it'll help a lot 
And I'll see you all in the next video. And peace.